blessings to all my Christian friends out there and everyone who's been subscribing and watching my videos. Thank you. It's been a little bit since I've posted a video online, but I just wanted to come on here and say that uh, I've been noticing, I've been, I've been hearing some people talk about like videos and everything online, like especially, I guess like concerning like, oh, well, do we really, do Christians or do Christians really need to read uh, the Bible to actually know God, uh, to actually have a relationship with him? And I just don't want anyone out there to really, um, to really take lightly to uh, that when someone actually says that, or uh, or actually believes that we actually don't need the Bible to actually have a relationship with the Lord. Don't take don't take that lightly, because as soon as I um, I hear I heard that, it really struck my spirit really hard. Speaking just speaking really from a person that actually. Uh, talks to the Lord and actually um, is a uh, like I, I I'm not perfect in everything. Don't 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 think I am. I'm just like everyone else. But it's someone who actually speaks to the Lord and actually know him for any Christian out there who has a real relationship with him, like if that doesn't hit your spirit when you hear like someone believe that you actually don't have to read the Word to actually know God. And to really understand what he really is about. But if you can actually talk to him without the Bible, then that should really hurt your spirit. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you if you really read into it, because I know some Christians won't actually take the time and actually do the research on what other religions believe, such as Hinduism, uh, the Catholic faith, the Mormon faith, or any of these other uh, religions out there. Some of their books, if you actually look into them, like the Quran or the Mormon Bible or the, or the Catholic books, like a lot of them are actually similar. It's just that Satan, what Satan and the enemy is good at doing, he's, he's good. Like even with these false prophets out here, someone like I'll use Stephen Furtick, for instance, they're good. Satan's really divisive and he's really, he's really good at, de this is how good he's deceiving people that he'll take. He'll take scripture and he'll throw all the truth around it, almost like you think like metaphorically, um, a Christmas present, for, in, for instance, a Christmas present. You'll have all this truth that he'll wrap um, wrap around what what he's going to present to you, but he'll wrap, he'll take all the truth and show it to you on the outside, but he'll wrap it around a full lie. You see where I'm going with this? Like, you think of that, for example, like a Christmas present, but it's like the Bible or any of these other books, so... So it's almost like if you if you get that 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 someone believes that um you don't need the Bible to have a relationship with God, well you could be praying to anything. You could be praying to any 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 God like they used to do back in uh, the Old Testament. Like they used to worship beetles. They used to uh, they used to pray to anything. Like you could go into like let's say um like in the Old Testament when they go to their temples and they would pay to go inside these temples like satanic temples and you could you could worship anything you could pray to anything as long as it wasn't jesus or god the truth like the actual creator like no one would have an, uh no one would have a problem with it or issue with it It was only until you prayed to jesus that's the that's one of the differences but the the thing is with the um, the reason why we need the bible honestly that we really need the bible uh, to have a relation with God, and not only lets us know who who Jesus is and what He's about and what what He truly stands for, um, and in His life here on Earth and all His teachings, because it's it's a it's more than a love letter, it's way more than a love letter, Church. That uh, it, it lets us get to know what He's about, what He stands up for, like what He believes in, what the cross means, why He died for us, what the blood shed on Calvary's cross means to uh to to us believers and to share and to share what the cross really is about and means uh to uh to why Jesus died for us and unbelievers and everything so we can actually not only know him but we can go out and share the gospel with unbelievers this unbelieving world this messed up world that we live in so people can know actually what what the cross means and what actually what actually like so so they'll uh 
so the spiritual seed will be planted with them so they'll actually know the meaning of the cross and why we why we need to why we need a savior in the first place like why else do we go out and witness um so we know why we need a savior in the first place it's not just oh god loves you and god loves you in the state that you're in no that's not what it's about it's about really um to share uh the gospel and like to show what jesus stands for and what what his heavenly father stands for so they uh so they uh receive that in their spirit when they uh take in that spiritual seed when they're open to it uh that's why it's important to have the spirit of discernment church that's why so they'll know like why he shed his blood on that cross and um and and to uh, really uh, be able to understand what the cross, the meaning of the cross is all about. That's what it what it really goes into. It's not just for, oh, Jesus loves you and Jesus, Jesus is just about love and making God just one sided. And pretty much you're 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 blaspheming. The whole, you're blaspheming God when you say that. Oh, God's only about love. And he's uh, he's only one sided. He's only a one sided creator. No, that's a lie. And I rebuke that that. um it, it just really, um, it really uh, shines a light and shows uh, people when, um, like, uh, especially even like uh, someone who's uh, new in the Christian walk, maybe they don't completely understand it. So that's why we uh, need to have a relationship and know God's word. So uh, we'll we'll be able to uh, show them that what that why why do we read the Bible? So it's more than just what God what. Um, what God believes in, the, what He stands for, but it's the true meaning of why we need a Savior in the first place. I mean, I don't, I don't know, like how how people have been, like especially Christians who have been in the faith for fifty plus years or more. Like, how could that throw you off or get you? Like, people out here are deceived when they when they uh, when they're saying stuff like that. It's just, it, it, it's really if that doesn't put um, like a hurt on your spirit, then. I, I would worry, like I really would, if that. As soon as I heard that, really hurt my spirit more than anything. For someone said we don't even need the God's word to have a relationship with. Him. Yes, we do, church, and that's the reason why to really get to know what He stands for and the true meaning of what the cross means. The reason why we need a savior in the first place, or else why do we need it? Why do we even need to need to walk with God in the first place? If we're not even going to read His word if we believe we honestly believe down inside we don't even need His word. That's the reason why we need His word. The true meaning of the of the cross the shedding of the blood on calvary's cross um for our sins church like the true meaning behind it not just this whole thing you know god loves you yeah god loves you but you don't like the state of the of uh of your sin that you're caught up in you know he um yeah we're born into sin and and naked we come into this world naked we go out but that shouldn't give us excuse to God wants us to address sin and know our sin so we'll continue to walk and want to do better um you know uh better and dying to our flesh every day so we'll uh we'll have a deeper understanding deeper walk and deeper understanding like deeper uh, uh knowing of the word so we'll be able to go out and share not only our testimony but the reason why we need a savior in the first place and God's word and his understanding of why he believes and why he um um why there are things in the bible that um that are addressed as such as like sin and everything so uh we uh we're not deceived ourselves you know it gives us it, it'll show us the true meaning of why why we why we need the bible and God's word so we can have a truth so we're not just praying out to or having a relationship with any god out there like it's the true god the one creator Jesus Christ the one that died on the cross for our sins um i mean <clears throat> even going back to what i was saying about the false prophets and everything like a lot of the uh pastors of the mega churches now have deceived so many people uh now and it's like uh satan is behind all that because they're too afraid like to address sin so they don't lose their 501 c uh uh tax forms or um they uh they want to make god one this one-sided creator one-sided god and they're just they're just they're running the church like a business pretty much instead of because they don't want to lose the money they don't want to lose the congregation the five hundred one three C tax uh, tax uh, deductions they um, they don't want to lose their following such as like Stephen Furtick um, Joel Olstein any of these other people and honestly and uh, and the other thing going back like um, 
if you don't know God's word, any any other religion can uh, show you the book, show you one of their uh, book like books like uh, the, the the Catholic faith or the Mormon faith, and um, they'll 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 show you their book and it'll be almost similar and say, oh, I've seen this in the Bible before too. They have the Ten Commandments. They have this saying. They they say this. So yeah, this is right too. Well, no, that can go into like you're already deceived right there, and that can go into universalism saying that all. All uh, all religions point the same way. No, they don't. There, Satan. What well, Satan also? <laughs> I was telling you that he's good at is sticking his hands in these other religions and belief systems and sort of uh, making them the exact same way, but he'll tweak them and distort them in a way where it's like if you don't really know the word of God, that you're all, you'll already be deceived. Like you could be walking the faith so long, but if you stop reading the word of God as well, uh. You could be deceived and fall into uh, the the traps of uh, seeing these other Bibles and saying, "Oh, this says the same thing as my Bible. This says the same thing." But you could end up being deceived and getting thrown off and following that belief instead of following uh, following the uh, the Bible. And what I would recommend any Christian out there uh, is to is to get a King James version because that's that's. Um, that's uh, one of the closest books you're gonna get to uh, to the old, the early church uh, Bibles for their their scriptures. The early church, the the uh, founding first founding churches in the um, in the Old Testament. So that's the closest one you're gonna get. I would definitely, I would not go for an NIV or any of the other thirty, forty, however many um, Bibles they have. How many different verses they have? So that's really why. Christians don't need to get caught up in this new age church mess that they're trying to present to you. They're trying to present to you um, uh, there by saying that you don't need the Bible to have a relationship with God. No, I would I would say they're already they're walking in error because that's completely wrong. And I would really like that um, like that has to grieve your uh, grieve your spirit inside because it grieved mine as soon as I heard that. So. I would definitely just definitely get in your word and and pray on it and get God read you which word you need to go and follow into and uh and let God guide you and lead you into into uh scripture where you need to go uh where uh where you need to read into as well and uh and don't and don't just uh I'll tell you something else don't be one of those Christians that'll just flip the pages and just point to where you want to read no let God uh, lead you um, into scripture where you need to start at definitely what I would I would definitely either start in John 1 as a new beginning Christian or um, or definitely Romans 1 Romans chapter 1 that's a that's a good start as well so so you're not getting thrown off you're confused and you're not starting off in these other in these other chapters like um, like Deuteronomy or um, or numbers or any of the more complicated scriptures that God, uh, God hasn't directed you to go into, but definitely start out in John chapter one or Romans chapter one. That's always a good place to start for new uh, new Christians and new believers. So, I just want to come on here and say that uh, um, do we? Uh, that's the reason why we need our um, our uh, Bibles. I mean, I'll, I'll even go into uh, a scripture, and this is in Galatians chapter one, eight through nine, and the King James version. And uh, it says, uh, if any angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then uh, let let that uh, let that man be accursed. If if someone else is coming to you, that's why I'm saying it's so important to stay in the word, stay in God's truth and in God's word, uh, so we're not deceived, we're not thrown on. Let the, uh, let anyone who brings uh, any other book to you. That uh, if if it's not of God's word, then it's not of the truth, and let that person be accursed. And this is uh, another reason why God was addressing uh, my people perish for a lack of knowledge, for not knowing the truth. But you were deceived, and you weren't following the actual actual scripture. Amen. That uh, that you need to stay in God's word, stay planted and rooted in Scripture, no matter what. This is so important, church, that we need to stay rooted and planted in God's word no matter what in scripture no matter what uh cuz it's easy to get thrown off especially at times we're living in right now in 2020 so uh just stay planted and stay rooted in God's word fast i would say fast stay planted in God's word and uh just make sure you have a prayer life and stay prayed up no matter what 
So anyway, I'm glad I got to come on here and uh, address something that was uh, really just put on my uh, spear from the uh, from from the whole uh, from God, and uh, I just really wanted to uh, share this today. So that the Holy Spirit wanted me to come on here and share with uh, someone else. So. I love you guys. Stay blessed and stay encouraged and keep going hard for uh, the Holy Spirit and God. And just uh, keep keep having a relationship with God and uh, keep having a relationship with your Heavenly Father and you will not be lost. Um, and just keep seeking out for Him and uh, whenever you're called, just to uh, share the gospel with someone. So and, and pray that they'll pick it up, that, uh, that the spiritual seed will be planted and God will reach out and uh, really... Uh, open their heart and uh really just uh really just soften their heart up to receive the gospel and to receive god so i love you guys stay blessed and stay encouraged in jesus name amen